Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. I am here with the Ramona Eschbach, who is with Orbe as an educator and who has recently created the uh, Journey to Mastery program, which is the coolest thing. It's an 11 course program where you end up having all the fundamentals to be the best kind of hairdresser, right? I think so, huh. yeah. It's, a, it's what I consider to be what you need to be the best and to really feel confident in your skills. Well, we're here in Santa Monica and a class just wrapped up and people were just loving it. It was great. And when the celebrity sighting was Ramona coming in and everyone was asking me behind the scenes, how do you get to be a Ramona? And what that means is Ramona is one of the few women in the industry who has reached that level where you're the lead of fashion shows, where you do advertising campaigns, where you're just a big shot. People are coming to me and asking me, how do you get to be a Ramona? So you know what? We're just going to go right to Ramona. Before we go there, who cut your hair? Oh, I cut it myself. <laughs> it's the cutest haircut. Everybody hard. else was asking me that to look, find out who cuts her hair. Okay, so Ramona, t give us a little bit about your journey, how you got to where you are. Um, I, it, it's, it's been a long journey. Um, I started right after high school. I went to beauty school, and I was really into fashion magazines and fashion. Um, after school, my mom would take us to 7-Eleven to get a treat, and all I wanted to buy was Mademoiselle or Allure magazine and memorize all the names of the models and what they were wearing and how much their dress cost. And um, so I moved to New York right after beauty school because that to me was the center of the fashion world. And um, I started at Bumble and Bumble. I started as an assistant. I started educating pretty early on and traveling into salons. And um, eventually I moved to Paris after assisting Eugene for a few seasons, Eugene Solomon on all of his shows in Paris and Milan and New York. And um, you know, I guess where I, now I'm doing my own things, now I'm doing my own shows and shoots, mostly in Paris, but also in New York and um, where, in LA as well, um, where I'm from. And um, I guess the way you get to where, to where I am is by never giving up, by remembering what it is you set out to do, not to get distracted by life or whatever else comes your way, and just remember what it is you, you set out to do, you know? And, um, and invest in yourself. I know you told me a story that that there were a bunch of shows that you their yeah. brand was not sending you, yeah. and you said, you know what, I'm going to send myself. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first season. Um, I think I can say the name. Bumble sent me, and it was an amazing experience to Europe. And the next season, they decided not to send me, and I was so upset. I said, you know what? Give me two weeks vacation, and I'm going to pay for my own trip. And I went, and that's the season I got on Eugene's team. But how did you do it? Did you go knock on his door? I mean, no, how did you contact no, no, him? Yeah, how does that luck. happen? It was, I mean, there was a bit of luck involved. Um, I ran into his first assistant, who was a friend of mine from Bumble. And I ran into her on the street in Milan. And she said, we need extra help for the show. Can you come? And I said, yeah, of course. So I went. Um, he liked me. And so... That's how I ended up on his team. So in that case, it was serendipity. It was, but I mean, I took the initiative and sent myself there by myself, not being booked on shows, not having a, you know, a secure job when I was there. I was just like, I'm just going to go. I'm going to put myself in this situation, which is Milan Fashion Week, and hope for the best. So your serendipity could be you could you don't want to necessarily stalk anybody, but you, know, you just oh, happen no, to be on no, the sidewalk. It's just like, you know, it's life. You put things out there. You put your energy out there. You make yourself available, and things will happen. It's, it's, not, um, it's not a mystery, I mean, to me. And you don't wait for them to come to you. You have to oh, make no, the effort. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can't. No, that's for sure. <laughs> no, you need to, um, you know, make yourself available. Say yes. Don't say no. Don't question it. Say, maybe. No, you say, okay, yeah, whatever it takes. You don't need to say, well, I need to consult with my husband, child, mother, whatever. You say, no, no, I'm coming. I will be there. All right, so what are your tips to get invited back, that you've, you're doing a show with someone? What do you have to do to make sure that person wants you back on the team? Oh, that's, that's very important. Um, that's, a whole, that's the whole other side of it. Is once you got on there, um, make sure that um, you're easy to work with. Make sure, again, keeping a positive attitude, um, not being greedy, not saying like, no, she's my model, I'm not gonna share her. No, you share, you assist, you, you realize that um, you wanna be the people that everybody calls to be like, can you help me, can you help me? 
you know. So you want so, people fighting over you. Yeah, to this is no to no, hand bobby pins to them. You right, know, to hand bobby pins. You can't be a diva if you want to get invited. If you want your first chance and then then to get invited yeah, back. Yeah. So um, if someone wants to be on your team, what does uh, he or she have to do? They have to probably keep emailing me because um, yeah, it's it's a lot of like it's a lot of like um, I want to come, I want to come, I want to come, and then. And then I don't have a schedule until, you know, really like two or three weeks before. So I can say, yeah, come, but I, I can't tell you yes or no until, you know, I need to know how many shows I'm doing. First of all, how many models are going to be on each of the shows, what the timing is, so how many assistants I'm going to need for each show. So you really just have to keep being persistent and, and for sure you'll get on a team or And so. um, will that person make a lot of money? Not at first. <laughs> really? that, that no, nice no, season. not at first. Not at first. I mean, for me, I, if it's your first season, you probably won't get paid. I need to make sure that it's somebody that I'm going to invest in because I've had assist. I've been doing this for such a long time that sometimes I'll have assistants that just come for one season and I'll pay them and then I never see them again. And you're like, well, there's so many people that want to be on my team that why should I accept you when I'm never going to see you again? I want people that are on my team every season, then we're a team, you know, and I'll invest in you if you invest in me, you know? Okay, so you're so, saying people should email you, and I hate to ask you what's your email address. Oh, Ramona B33 at gmail.com. And we're not going to spell it out. We're going to make you do no, a little work. do a little yeah. research there. <laughs> How do you spell Ramona? And, and B is not B E E. It's the letter. <laughs> um, Ramona, thank you so much, and thank you for uh, creating the Journey to Mastery program. It's so wonderful and effective. I know people are taking it multiple times. They want to take the somebody I know in this room wants to have be the first one to get the eleven courses oh, I'm in. Excited for that first person to finish. I'm. I think that should be a big <laughs> party. I'm like, I can't wait oh, to see that person that finishes all eleven. I didn't yeah. even know there was eleven, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and. Uh, no, it was an honor, actually. I, I loved creating it, honestly. It was the first time I had ever done anything like that. I came into it, just they called me and being like, can you help out with something? I'm like, yeah, sure, I've never done that. And it ended up being this thing that turned into a, a much bigger deal than I thought. And, and it was great. It was very pleasurable for me, and I really enjoy it. And I really enjoy, I'm really happy this was my first time coming to a class and experiencing it and seeing it and seeing that it's working. And so to me, that's, that was great. Well, it's so great meeting you. Thank you so much for coming, and I know everybody was thrilled to meet you, and thanks for giving us this time. Of course. Thanks. Thanks. See you. Okay, Thank we'll you. see you. Bye.